Alright guys, welcome back to your fourth part of this little mini-series, How to Develop an RPG. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding our character to the scene. Because, you know, what fun is a role-playing game if you don't have a character? Correct answer? It's not that fun at all. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to get the object layer. And this is the layer named OJ that all of our objects were stored on. And by all of it, I only mean our one object. But anyways, that's what we need to do. So if you're saying alright I already know how to get layers just like this well actually getting a tiled layer and getting objects layer are two totally different things so here is how you retrieve an object layer CC TMX object group and just go ahead and name your variable anything you want I'm just gonna name mine objects and set it equal to this the first thing you need is what map do you want to use this is in case you have several different maps in your project I'm using the map because it's the only map we made so far and now each map might have a lot of different object layers so object group named this is the method where you write what layer do you want to use well we only have one object layer and it's named OJ so let's go ahead and use that one so now we have the object layer OJ stored in the object objects probably should name that something different but oh well now what we need to do is remember in this layer objects we had one little gray dot stored in it and we named that start point so here is where we need to retrieve the start point object now check this out each of these objects maybe I can bring this up each of these objects has a bunch of different information whether you know it or not if you go ahead and right click it and click object properties you can see a couple properties the name of it the X position the Y position well all of this information is stored in a mutable dictionary so what we need to do is retrieve this mutable dictionary so MS mute well wow, I really messed that up M U T A B L E dictionary just like that and go ahead and name your dictionary start point looks good so now what we need to do is say alright what layer from the map do you want to use well we want to use that objects layer and from that layer we want to get the object named start point because remember that's what we named that gray dot that object so now pretty much start point represents that gray dot on your screen pretty cool huh so now like I said this dictionary has a couple properties it has a name it has X position and it has a Y position well let's go ahead and take that X position and Y position from our object and store it in local variables that we can use in our program very easy just go ahead put in X and set it equal to this um, in order to get values from dictionaries here's what you do start point you write the name of the dictionary and then you put value for key I shouldn't even have to tell you this you should already know how to get values from dictionaries if you watch my objective C tutorials and now whatever that returns we just want the integer value of this so the X is gonna return oh well, I'll tell you in a second alright so now here we go. X is going to return 2.5 and Y is going to return 45 and some change. So cancel, cancel out of that. And now that we have X and copy, change this to Y, change this to Y. And now what we want to do is, let me uh, recap one last time. What this line does is it gets the entire layer what this line does is it gets that one object from the layer the start point object what these lines do is it say alright where's that object I want to get the coordinates of it and store the X coordinate and X and the Y coordinate and Y simple enough so now that we have the X and Y coordinates from that object or point all we need to do is take our dude and add them to that point simple enough we did this in the beginning Coco Studio tutorial so self dot dude we actually need to say what file do we want him to represent and go ahead and cc 
sprite and sprite with file and this writes what image do dot ping so I want this sprite to be represented by that do dot ping and now what I need to do is position this dude somewhere on the screen this is simple dude position equals ccp x y pretty simple eh? and now what you need to do is now that he's positioned on screen of course with everything with Cocos 2D you just need to add him to the scene and self which means this class add child and add the dude so here's what we did I already explained this and uh, yeah I pretty much already explained everything I don't feel like doing it again way too lazy to do that so let's go ahead save and run and check this out hopefully nothing messes up now how awesome is this our dude is positioned exactly where that object was on the screen there he is just chilling there waiting to move around waiting to uh you know collect some gems or battle some enemies or you know he's just waiting to do something look at him he's like oh, i want to do something that's what he's saying so let's recap one last time what we did entitled we created an object on the screen this object has properties already built in it. What we did in our code is we say, all right, this line right here retrieves this entire object layer. This line right here retrieves that specific object, that gray dot on the screen. And also with it, you get a bunch of information such as the X and the Y coordinates of where that dot is located. And all we did then is took that X and Y coordinates and position a sprite where that object was simple enough so that's all we need to do for this tutorial so um that my friends is how you take objects from tiled and position sprites on your screen and you know enough of me talking i i feel like going to eat macaroni and cheese or hot dogs or something so uh yeah you guys uh enjoy and uh how about this we meet up for the next tutorial I guys like that and if you have any questions just ask me on my forum and i'll be happy to answer them for you guys so uh thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to buy my iphone apps because they're pretty sweet so uh, i'll see you later